Hey there. We are going to attempt to make some geode bath bombs. And yeah, this might be a fail video. I've never made them before. And I'm probably doing this backwards um, instead of just doing regular bath bombs. And I said before in one of my videos that uh, I was attempting to make bath bombs. Um, I haven't done them in a long time. And then I did make a batch and they cracked and they still work, they're fine, but they cracked. So I did that video and it's like, you know, I, I just uh, deleted it, didn't upload it or whatever. So I did make another batch and they turned it, they turned out okay, but I, I didn't do a video on it. So um, I am gonna do another video on just regular bath bombs, but I decided to try this. So I'm kind of going backwards, but, um, you know, with bath bombs, they're just, they're so finicky. I mean, it's like one day you can make the exact same recipe, use the same recipe the next day, and they work out fine. The next day you try it again and they're cracking. They don't want to fizzle. There's no rhyme or reason to bath bombs. And I know some people say that it has to, it can do with the humidity in your home where you live, you know, the, the altitude or whatever, I have no idea. I'm not in the business to make bath bombs, so have no clue. But um, anyways, the other issue that I had is I am running low on citric acid and you need citric acid for bath bombs. You can order it off of Amazon. Um, you can buy it uh, like at Walmart and I did go to Walmart and they were out. Uh, you can find it in like the canning section, um, but they were out. I have enough to do, you know, this project and to do some regular bath bombs. But since I've never done these before, um, I just wanted to do a small batch. And I do have some bath bombs that I made uh, the other day that turned out okay. So I didn't want to make a whole lot anyway. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, again, I'm, I'm making a small batch. And on my, my bowls, I have two sets of mixing bowls and like utensils and spoons that I don't use on food. I use it for like crafts or, you know, when I'm doing stuff like this. So, you know, food's not going to be put in this set of bowls. I'm sure, you know, with what I'm using here, it wouldn't hurt food, but, you know, that's just me. And if you're going to give um, bath bombs away or people that are doing this for a business, you know, they wear gloves. But since these are for just for me, I'm not doing that. Um, another thing um, with bath bombs, you can, uh, we're going to be adding some colors and they say that we're doing food colors uh, because I don't have any colorants. You can order those again on Amazon or you might be able to go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I don't, I'm not sure if they have like soap dyes they might or bath bomb dyes or colorants, but I don't have any of that here. Um, you can use food coloring, but if I was going to give um, these away to people, I would not use food coloring. I would use, you know, uh, colorants for bath bombs or um, I, some of them, I think they might call them micas, I'm, I'm not sure, but I wouldn't use f food coloring for that. But it is safe because um, they're being uh, diluted in water, so you're not going to, it's not going to stain you. Um, I've used them before. It's not going to stain your tub or anything. So we're going to go ahead and just dig right in. And the two main ingredients to get that that fizzle with your bath bomb is going to be your baking soda and citric acid and all bath bombs have to have that and they also have to have cornstarch so i think the cornstarch is what hardens your bath bomb so again this is a very small batch so i um even when i make uh the normal bath bombs it's going to be a very small batch just so you can kind of see what I put into it. You can double it, triple it, you know, whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And with the baking soda, I'm just gonna use one fourth cup of the baking soda. 
and you will see me put this on pause a lot so um, if you see things appear and disappear yeah that's because I'm putting it on pause because I'm still not good with that editing okay so we got our one fourth cup of the baking soda and then one fourth cup of cornstarch And then we're going to use two tablespoons of citric acid. And this is good. I'm messy, so you might make a mess when you do this. Just be warned. Now I am going to be putting... Um, Just a little bit, I'm going to put one tablespoon of dried powdered milk. And I'm probably going to cough. Um, that powder comes up and it gets in your nose and in your mouth. Just be warned. And you might cough, sneeze. But the dry powdered milk, I'm putting that in there. You don't have to, but I am. Um, that is very good for the skin, as well as um, with, with the bath bomb, it will give you that foam as well as the fizz. So you wanna make sure that all the clumps are out of there. Okay, and the other thing, uh, like I, I don't know if I already said this or not, with molds you can, um, this has already got a bunch of stuff all over it, and I do apologize because I tried to make this, uh, the bath bombs before, and it just got messy, but um, you can order, um, you know, bath bomb molds on, again, Amazon, go to Hobby Lobby, Michael's. I just use what I have around the house. I, I'm not going to spend money on that. Again, I'm not in the bath bomb business. And when I do my other bath bombs, I'm going to show you what you can use around the house. But with this project, um, to make these geode, if I said that right, um, I am using you know, one of these little things that have the, the toy in it, you get it for 50 cents out of the little machine. So they're gonna be a smaller uh, bath bomb, but I mean, they seem like they're, they're perfect for me. Some of the bigger ones just seem like it's kind of a waste, I don't know. So I don't know how many these were, how many these might make. I'm hoping I get about four, maybe five of these. But since I only have two, I would. I, I had this around the house, so I was gonna go up and uh, see if I could get one more. So I had four. Because what we're gonna have to do is let these dry a little bit. So I'm gonna have to put it on pause and wait. Um, you could put it in the freezer. I, we'll get to that point when we come to it. But the more you have, the easier it is. Um, but I just use things that I have around the house. Uh, again, if you order the stuff off of Amazon, it would make it easier. And, you know, people that do this professionally, they, they, they use the professional stuff, but I'm not doing that. So this is what I'm going to be making them in. So anyways... We're just making sure that all those clumps are out of there and we're going to get our hands in there as well so okay so now i had to put it on pause so now that we got i think all the clumps out of there we are going to add 
some essential oils. Now, some people do fragrance, and I don't. I said before, I love my essential oils. And again, you gotta be very careful with the essential oils and make sure you're not allergic um, you know, to smells because I think I also said before that for some reason, I uh, Yankee Candle essential oils just makes me cough and sneeze. I, I don't know why. So, you know, I love my essential oils and I make sure that I uh, get high quality. And um, also that, you know, it isn't, uh, it doesn't irritate your skin. Now, again, it's gonna be diluted in water, but some people are very, um, sens you know, they're, they're sensitive to essential oils. But what I'm gonna use in this is lemon and um, let me see I have so many essential oils and you can put as much as you want because um, it is going to be diluted right and I'm gonna I don't know I'm just gonna I just want it to smell good um, I'm gonna mix it with lemon and mandra uh, mandarin yeah that's what I'm gonna do because I just love the smells together. And again, you can just, you know, whatever, whatever you want to put in there. And it does smell amazing together. I just love these two smells. Now the bath bombs I did before I did orange and I will be doing orange um, again. And these two just, I don't know, they just smell good together. So now that we have that in there, what I'm going to attempt to do, since this is going to be a rock, <laughs> I am going to attempt to make this kind of a, a, a grayish, blackish. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. Again, never done this before. And this is where we gotta be very, very careful. Um, I put a little bit of water and some black colorant in here. And water will activate this. So, just little drops hey, doing it backwards here and stir it fast and it might not come out gray like I want it it might come out a total different color who knows might not come out any color <laughs> seems like I got a ball up there this is where I might have to start sticking my hands in and this is where water will activate that citric acid and you'll see clumps in there and that's fine so far, so good. No activation. Okay. All right. So, it's still not any color right now, and that's fine. All right. Now, this is where I had the big issue when I made my first bath bombs. You have a spray bottle, and what I have in here is witch hazel. Witch hazel is also very um, good for your skin, for itchy skin, but if you don't have witch hazel, you can use water. But you have to make sure, um, the first time that I ever did bath bombs, I had this on spray, and you want to make sure it's on mist, um, because what we want to do is we want to make, our goal is to make sure that this is like a wet sand or you know 
for the moms that have kids, if you ever played with, I think it's called the Kinex sand, you want it to feel like that. And we're going to see how that is. But you want to spray it, spritz it, and then stir it. And I am going to put this on pause while I do this because, you know, it is hard to, you know, get that consistency and keep spraying it and doing that. But I'll come back and I can really smell those uh, two essential oils. They smell wonderful. But I'm going to put this on pause and then I'll, sh once I get this to the consistency, I'll show you what it should look like. Okay. So it did turn out. A gray I don't know if you can see it or not because the lighting is horrible in here but it did turn out a gray like I wanted to and this is the consistency you want if you squeeze it and it holds its shape like that but then it breaks apart pretty easily that's the consistency you want okay and if it doesn't seem like it's if it doesn't do that, then you just keep spritzing. If it seems like it's too wet and it's really sticking to your hand, then you can add some more um, cornstarch to it. So now what we're going to do, and I put a towel here because I'm messy. I'm just going to take one of these. We're going to just kind of pack it around. You can make it, you know, the sides jagged, you know, like a broken rock and pack it in pretty good with your thumb and make sure that you know there's no um, thin parts at the top or it's going to break and that the hard part with only having two of these because I'm going to pop these in the freezer you got to let them dry so um, only having two of these I'm going to pop them in the freezer for a little bit and take them out if you had more of these you know you could just keep going but I'm gonna to have to let them dry and um, and then come back to be able to finish them off so that's where this comes back to where I got to put it on pause again and then I'll show you how we're going to be doing the, the crystals or the salts. And I'm sorry if I don't have my camera up there right. But anyways, you just pack it in really good. And then on the, you know, where it's thin because we don't want it to break apart. Just make sure there's, you know, a divot in there. Or a hole or whatever you want to call it. Just getting these thin pieces because I don't want the, this to to break. And this is trial and error. Um, some of these are going to crumble apart when you uh, take it out of here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Basically, that's what it'll look like. You can make it more jagged if you want, but I am not going to try to do that. Uh, maybe I'll try a few. I'm not sure, but I am just afraid to because I'm just using these little these little things. So we'll just see how the, how this goes, but we will come back. I'm going to do this other one. And um, like I said, if I had more of these, it would be different. But I might uh, try a few different, they might look different. You know, I might try uh, different things um, to see what kind of uh, shapes I get out of them. I don't know. But if they're sitting out, um, they should hopefully dry if you don't put them in the freezer, hopefully dry enough in a couple of hours to work with. Um, the best thing is to have more of these because what you're going to have to do, this is going to start uh, 
getting dry and you're going to have to spritz it again. So um, we'll just see. We'll see how this goes. And I'm going to pop these in the freezer and we will come back. Okay, we are back and not sure about these. <laughs> okay, so I kind of played around with one last night. It didn't turn out the way I wanted it, but as you can see, um, well, hopefully you can see at least the color of the bomb is gray, but I was playing around with this one and I don't know, I didn't have, I put too much in there, I guess, but this is kind of the concept and I was really having some issues with these cracking. I I believe it's the humidity. I, I'm just not sure. I have no idea. But it actually made five. One just crumbled. And if you have issues with it um, cracking when you try to get these out of the mold, you can uh, spritz it again and redo them. Or if they completely just keep falling apart, you can just make it into a powder and put it in a jar and throw it in there like that. But I think if I try these again, I'm going to uh, do a bigger mold. These are just like really tiny, but I'm going to just kind of go with it um, and show you how I did these. Again, you know, tried to work with something, you know, tiny and the little mold that I had really made it difficult. And as you can see, some of them, you know, they're cracked still in there, but they're, they're still going to work. And then these ones kind of cracked off, but you know, rocks do, you know, crack on the side, so it's fine. But what I did is, and I already pre-did these up, and maybe I shouldn't have, but I went ahead and did it anyways. Uh, these sat for about 24 hours. Um, you know, you could do it for like two hours, but I just didn't get to them. But you can take um, either really coarse or coarse um, sea salt, dead sea salt, or rock salt. And then I just put them in little cups and then I um, made some, uh, put different food coloring in there or colorants or whatever. And I did this ahead of time so that they would be dry. And you just store it in there, you know, to make different colors. And we're just doing, I did the green and then the blue and some yellow. And then you want some that are just white. And then we also have some Epsom salt, okay? And we're just leaving that white, all right? And then you want to have some melted coconut oil. And that's going to be kind of like the glue. And just like with this one... Um, I did this yesterday, so it's all stuck in there really good. And I'm going to put some, as a matter of fact, I'm going to put some Epsom salt. It kind of gives it that, that like crystal look. And I'm going to put a little more Epsom salt on the top of this, maybe. And what this will do, um, because we know that with coconut oil, once it sits again, it will, um, oops, it'll get solid. So, should have been doing it over this, but. Anyways, we're just going to let that one sit. I don't know how it's going to look afterwards, but... And then put a little more coconut oil on top. And you really have to watch with the coconut oil, too, because um, it can make the bath bomb go off. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and work on one... We're going to do the blue, and the first thing you're going to do, and like I said, you got to be really careful with the coconut oil, because uh, it can set the bath bomb off, 
and we're just going to put a little bit to act like a glue just on the inside and then some Epsom salt And these are fragile being this small. They really are. And thin. But it's just kind of a kind of the concept, I guess. Okay. So just kind of like that. And then if you want to, you can you can pop it in the, the freezer if you want to get it to harden up. I'm not going to do that or to make the Epsom salt, or not the Epsom salt, but the coconut oil to um, harden up faster, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put some more in there. And then I'm going to put the white crystals. I'll try to give this a little more of a divid. And then again, with the coconut oil, it just kind of seals it in. And then in the middle, just gonna kind of add that blue. some more coconut oil I think I'm going to add a little more Epsom salt just just around the edges can just kind of play with it. I might add a couple more. more blue. There you go. You're going to hear my dogs. I'm just going to keep on going. Wherever you add. So wherever you add any rock, you want to put that coconut oil and this will harden up. So I'm going to go ahead and 
there's our blue and I'm gonna go ahead and do the other ones and then show you here okay so we're done and now we're just gonna let them dry and see what they look like so that was just yellow and then we have the red and the blue and then the green so it didn't come out exactly the way I wanted it to but you know not too bad for the first try and also just using you know little tiny things so we'll see how they look like when they dry and we'll post a picture but and if you can kind of hold it up a little bit that um, so there's the red blue you kind of see the little crack in there but anyways put it up there further and then the yellow that's already kind of broke but that's okay because rocks are broke right It's got a little shimmer in there. So there you go. Not too bad. I mean, nothing uh, to write home to mom about. But um, that was my first try on them. Like I said, um, if I ever did these again, I would use a bigger type of ball because these were really, really um, flimsy, small. But, anyways, um, I will be doing regular bath bombs, and uh, we'll try these again. We'll try them again, but we will use something bigger and better, um, and see how they look. And we will catch you again.